Welcome back, everybody, to Eco. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to make some carpentry stuff because we got the carpentry scar, uh, scar, yeah, the scar, the star in the last episode. Welcome, everybody. Hope you guys um, enjoy this video. Okay, so in the last episode, I jumped down a big, big hole in the mountain, and uh, what I ended up actually having to do is um, instead, I, I was going to burrow straight out, but I didn't know if I, my picks would last that long. And so what I did was I kind of just, where's that hole at? It's right here. I kind of just stair-stepped my way out of here until I could, you know, finally uh, pop out. And I was actually quite a ways down in that hole too. Um, and my, you know, I was afraid my, both my picks wouldn't last long enough, but uh, they did. And I managed to get out of there and there is a whole mess of stone, loose stone in this hole because... You know, I had to mine it and then throw it out. I couldn't carry it all with me. I wonder if this shows debris. Uh, pollution. Debris. Hmm. I guess it doesn't consider... It looks like I have a couple trees over here that I didn't get everything picked up. I guess it doesn't consider loose stone all over the place debris. Because there is, like, there's probably a hundred chunks of stone down in there. Um, what about, like, trampled? No, it doesn't show that either. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, that's what I had to do uh, to get out of there. But we finally made it out and back home and ready to start the next episode here. So, you guys have been telling me that what I need to do is I need to make uh, better recipes and I need rooms in my house and those things will boost our XP. So... The focus for this episode is primarily going to be the house. It's not very big, but what I'm thinking we do is we, you know, we make some rooms and maybe make an upstairs area too. So the downstairs area could be like a crafting place and then the upstairs could be like our living area. Let's go ahead and pick that thing up. It doesn't need to be right there. But let's take a look at our carpentry bitch here and see what our options are because we actually, here, let's look at this first. So we now have our first... Uh, star here in carpentry and so we can make a few things that only require carpentry level one and in doing that of course we will continue to level carpentry up itself i also want to get uh get going on mining um and well i mean on pretty much everything we we got to do it masonry and this and the whole nine yards but we're going to focus on carpentry for the moment so we can make ourselves a hewn chair but to make a hewn chair we need Bo uh, boards? Yeah, we need boards. Um, so, a distribution station. Yeah, we already talked about that. Small hanging wood sign, tailoring table, Wainwright table. So, we have a lot of stuff we can make here. We just need, looks like we just need to make a bunch of boards first of all. So, that, uh, oh, I guess we, I guess we do that here. Okay. I don't know how many boards we're going to need. So, let's just make, let's make 40. Okay, and we'll just queue up 40 boards. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. Now, while that's happening, I want to take a look at what we can do in, in the way of food for recipes. So we can make beet campfire salad. We can make... Is it, a, is it a situation where we can make any of this stuff? It's just a matter of the ingredients now. It kind of looks that way. It kind of looks that way. So, hmm, all right. How do we know which of these recipes are better than the next, or do we know that? Boiled grains requires one rice or wheat. So that's kind of like, you know, like cream of wheat or oatmeal or something like that, probably, right? Uh, beet campfire salad requires beet greens. Look at that XP going, man. Awesome. I love it. Um... Uh, fruit, so huckleberries is the only fruit we've come across. We have to have 36 of those. And beet greens, we, we do come across those every once in a while, too. Bannock requires fat and wheat. And I think we have that stuff. So our campfire should be connected to OG's storage chest. It is now, I think. Yeah, it should be. Okay, so we have some tallow there. I think we got that when we killed the elk, and we've got a bunch of wheat here. So if we go back to here now, 
Uh, we should be able to make this. Awesome. So bannock must be like a flat bread, I'm guessing, because that's kind of, oh, a dense whole wheat unleavened bread. There you go. Like a frat, a, a frat, a flat bread. So this is going to give us a little bit better XP than just eating raw ingredients, I guess. All right. So what else can we make? Boiled grains. We need 27 wheat to make. Really? It takes that much wheat just to make one bowl of cream of wheat? Or do we get like a bunch of it? Used in topped porridge recipe. We have to, oh we have to have campfire cooking too to make that. All right, so we can't make everything. We can just make some things until we get our campfire skill itself up. Let's look at that again for a minute. So cooking is right here. Uh, we have go away screen tip. Okay, we have campfire one uh, right now, and uh, we we have level two. No, actually no, we have level two. Right? Yeah. We have level two. Okay. So we could maybe make that that stuff, whatever it was. Fried hearts of palm. Fried taro. Fried tomatoes. We still need more fat. We're going to have to go do some more hunting. I really haven't killed anything since we killed the elk the first time around. Campfire crab. Ooh. Yeah, we could go get ourselves a crab. Uh, all right, why don't we try and make this beet campfire salad? So we're going to have to go get a... That's a heck of a lot of beets. Goodness gracious. 57 beets and 36 huckleberries. Uh, uh, okay, let's just go... Let's go out here. Is my garden actually growing or not? I can't really tell. I think it is. Does this garden require irrigation? Does anybody... Is that elk just sleeping there? Oh, man. This is really mean of me to do, but we got to go hunting, guys. Shot that dude right in the head, man. Is there, like, a bleed effect when you shoot a critter? Can they, like, bleed out or something? Hey, we got some hunting points. Come here, buddy. Come here, Eddie the elk. Hold still while I'm trying to shoot you. Got him. Okay. All right. So, um, can we can we like skin elk, or do we just pick up the carcass? All it says is pick up. And, I mean, we have a machete here, but... Okay, well, let's pick him up. And there's a doe there. Let's go in the house. Whoop. And we're going to put the elk inside of here. Okay, so we have a whole elk inside of our chest. A whole elk. A bull elk. A whole bull elk inside of our chest. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so does that give us campfire animal medium? Uh, so if we cook this, we'll get four charred meat and two tallow. Right? Campfire bison. We might have to shoot. Oh, Billy the Buffalo will give us eight meat. I'll bet you it takes him a while. It takes a while to kill him, though. Campfire roast. What's this? Raw roast. Oh, crafted at the butchery table. Okay, so we need a butchery table before we can really get better cuts of meat. I'm guessing off of these guys. All right. So yeah, let's make campfire animal medium. And that'll give us two more tallow, and then we can use that to make other things that require fat. So. Here, let's do it. Perform 40 units of labor. Let's take um, and eat our tallow here. Or, sorry, our bannock. Not our tallow. We have a couple clams in here. What can we make? What's going on up here? Campfire. Oh, that's our, our dude cooking. Wait. What's the matter? Are we out of fuel? Uh, power. 
No fuel. Burnable fuel. All right. What's burnable fuel again? I can't remember what we put in here. Oh, oh it's just logs. Gotcha. Okay. So if we go to here and we go to... Uh, Campsite storage or tiny storage? Okay, hold on a sec. Let's go. Can we access our storage from here? Oh, geez, campfire. Okay. Yeah, so let's just take and put... Um, uh, we'll just take and put some birch logs in there. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Awesome. Okay, so we... Oh, we were going to look and see what we can make with clams. That's right. Okay, so let's take a look in here. Go back to crafting. And I sure I really wish there was a search function. You know what I mean? Boiled grains. So we just have to kind of scroll through until we find something that says clams, I guess. Beans, beets, cactus fruits, something, something. Heart of palm. Papaya, sausage, fried commas, tomatoes. I want fried tomatoes, man. That sounds good. We could make some. Oh, you know what? That 47, that's how many tomatoes I have, not how many we need. Okay, I was reading that incorrectly. Jungle campfire salad. Interesting. Render fat. Okay. Wilted fiddleheads. Everything else here requires higher levels of campfire cooking skill. So for clams, I think clams is kind of generic for just like fish. Campfire bass, campfire cod, campfire crab. There was just kind of like a general fish recipe, I thought, in here. Charred fish right here. Okay, so this requires... Uh, Charred fish requires one raw fish to craft. Raw fish is either clean bass or clean blue shark. Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's do this the other way around. Let's look at, and look at the clam itself, and it should tell us what we can use it for. Oh, it's used in shuck clams recipe. Okay. Shuck clams recipe. Let's go find shuck. Clams recipe. It's not showing up here. There's nothing in between R and T. Uh. Okay. I'm confused. As usual. As usual. How do I make shuck clams recipe, you guys? Tell me in the comments, please. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't see it in here. Do I have to have like a um, a better cooking stove kind of thing? Oh, well, whatever. Let's make some fried tomatoes. Sounds good. What's fried taro? It requires taro root. Fried hearts of palm. Fried chemis. Fern campfire salad. Like ferns? Fiddleheads? Uh, that doesn't sound super appetizing. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, all right, let's take a look in here. Okay, so we have fried tomatoes. Stom oh, our stomach's full. We got four charred meat, two tallow, and we have clams. Shuck clams recipe crafted at a fishery. Oh, okay, okay. So we have to have a fishery to make shuck clams recipe. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah. All right. We're figuring it out. Slowly but surely. Let's go back over to carpentry for a while now. So we got some boards in here. So we have 40 boards in the stockpile storage too. So if we go back to crafting, uh, what I want to make is I want to make a bench. And I want to make a chair. And I want, we already have doors. I want to make a table. Small hanging wood sign. 
a tailoring table and a Wainwright table. What is a Wainwright? A set of smoothing and woodworking tools that assist in creating wheels and transportation. Oh, okay. I've heard of, of Wainwrights before, but I just couldn't, I didn't know what they were. So that has, that's going to have to do with, I guess, road building and carts and stuff. Ooh, cart. Can we make a cart now? Or a wheelbarrow at least? Let's go. Let's go look in here. Uh, okay, so wheelbarrow. To make a wheelbarrow, we need... There's so much cool stuff in here, you guys. Uh, to make a wheelbarrow, we need a wheel. A wooden wheel. To make a wooden wheel, it requires uh, to craft. You have zero weight. To craft it at the Wainwright table. So you, we're gonna, I, I think we have a Wainwright table in our future, you guys. In our very near future. Wainwright table. That's what I'm talking about. Let's make ourselves a Wainwright table. Because I want a wheelbarrow. Because then once we get a wheelbarrow, then we can actually go dig dirt up and put it in the wheelbarrow and not have to dig it and then put it right back down somewhere else. Uh, let's make a tailoring table, because why not? Right? Um, a wooden latrine. Uh, oh, we need a bed, too. Let's make a bed. You cannot queue more than five projects at a single table. Ooh. Okay. But if we hold down the Alt key and right click, look at that, level up, um, we should be able to just queue up all the calories right there. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, guys. Now, uh, if we're going to do walls, is, are there actual walls walls or is it just the block that we shape into wall? I think it's going to be just the block that we shape into wall. If we're going to do an upstairs, we're going to need a stair well to get up there. And there aren't any stairs in this doggone game. How do you do stairs? Let's look again. Uh, what if we went to here? And we go to carpentry, housing components, bed components, deeds, text components. No, that isn't what I need. Blocks, byproducts, building materials. Yeah, uh... Crafted objects, community science, specialty, storage, tiny stockpile, storage chest, talk. Yeah, okay, we know about that. Vehicles, wheelbarrow, and small wood cart. Which one of these is better? Five kilograms, five kilograms. Are these like the same they both say for hauling minimal loads i don't know okay uh housing objects washroom beds excuse me doors seating tables washroom look at that yeah i don't know i don't know how to make stairs so you've got to have, you have to have stairs, guys, because how could you have a, a building with an upstairs if you don't have stairs to get up the stairs? How does that work? I'm confused. Is it, do we just need a block, a hewn block, and then we can shape it into stairs? Maybe that's all we got to do. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things here. Let's take a look. So if we hold down, um, uh, what was the key we had to hold down? Oh, we have to have the hammer in our hand. Right. Okay. And then we have to hold down F. Yeah. Okay. F. Oh, stairs. Look at that. Okay. So choose this block form to place your softwood hewn log in the shape of stairs. Uh, Hold on a sec, though. I think we want hardwood if we want it to match this. So let's go back into here. Let's grab hardwood. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't, I mean, I've looked at this menu before and my eyeballs, I'm sure saw that, but I just didn't, it just didn't register. Okay. Wait here. Click. There we go. Oh, look at those stairs. Those are kind of cute. All right. So now we need to go rotate that way. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now we're going to put stairs here. Um, Q. 
they're kind of cute, aren't they? What I was thinking about maybe doing, though, is we're probably not... We're probably going to have to have one side of the house here. Um... We got ourselves a turkey. Uh, one side of the house here is going to have to be the stairwell to the upper floors. So if we're going to do that, um, I want to save this corner for, you know, more workstations. What we could do is when we walk into the house here, we could have a stairwell going up to the next level. In which case, well, no, we could still do that. Okay, here, let's do this. Let's go back to here. Uh... Oh, hammer. Okay, so we still have stairs. Let's turn the stairs uh, this way. Um, you know what, though? The thing is, is we really need to go up in the center of the peak. Because if we try and go up this way, we're going to bonk our head on the eaves. So maybe it's this door that we don't use. The floor is going to have to be probably along here. So what we're going to do is rotate the block this way. Uh, am I thinking about this correctly? Or could we put the floor ceiling lower? That's awfully low, but it would give us more room upstairs if we did that. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to have a really low ceiling in here, I think. What we might be able to do, though, is we might be able to use... Can we take a column? Can we take walls? And can we flip them? Whoops. Like flat, horizontally. I don't think it's going to let me do that because it's a wall, so it thinks it has to be vertical. Well, doggone it. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a wall there, and a wall there, and a wall there, and then this will be our way into this room. Okay. And then let's do the same thing over here. Um, okay, hold on, though. Should we just not have a door here at all? Or, no, we can. Here, let's just pick this back up. Yeah, okay. Go there, and there, and there, but then pick you back up. We're going to have to move our chest uh, somewhere else, I guess. Maybe we move the chest over here, and this could be like the storage room. Um, unless we can put the chest in here, in that area. That'd be kind of weird, though. The fireplace, I don't... Can we move the fireplace back towards the corner a little more? Well, I mean... No, it's not going to let me put it there. It shouldn't let me put it there. Yeah, it's got to go here. Darn it. All right. Here, I'm going to try something else. Let's go here again for a second. Why do I have logs in my hand? I thought we had... Uh... Uh, oh, because I picked up the fireplace, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go back into here for a second and grab some... 
Uh, let's grab some softwood. Inventory's too heavy. Only accepts non-carried items. Okay. What if we do this? What if we go F, do like the little uh, pillar thing? Ooh. I like that. Okay. Now, let's put the fireplace on. Oh, man. It ain't going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. I wanted to put the fireplace right in the corner there, but it's not going to let me do it. Dang it. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Um, Our house isn't very big, you guys. That's just all there is to it. We have a very small house. I want to try and make it work for now, though. Um, we, you know, we, we will have some room upstairs, but I, I was kind of planning on having the upstairs be like the bedroom and, you know, the living area. And this could be like the crafting area. But you guys are telling me that I need more rooms in order to make, you know, have more XP. So we got to make it work here. We got to figure this out. So let's go back to walls. And we can't keep. What if we did this? What if we put the fireplace? Yeah, that's just not a whole lot of room in here for it, is there? I mean, we could put the fireplace outside, I guess. Cook outdoors, that sort of thing. If we did that, where would we put it? Hello, wolf. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to put it there for now. I'm just going to put it there for now. That's the way it's got to be. All right, now... If we can move our chest over to this corner, is there a way we could get two chests in here? Can you stack chests on top of each other? Okay, here, let's do this. Let's put this away for a second. I'm going to move all of this stuff into this stockpile for a second. I don't know if I can pick up a chest that has stuff in it or not. Okay, wait a minute. Why, why is it no longer linked? Okay, this is linked. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Um, let's just throw all this stuff in here. Can I, like, shift-click it or anything? Nope. Oh, that's kind of neat. If you shift on something, then you can choose stack size. Oh, that's neat. Okay, I didn't know that. Learn something new. Let's put all this stuff in here. I'm going to eat some tomatoes. Now we should be able to pick this up. And then let's reset it back down here. Okay, rotate it this way. I think we can do that, and then I think we could put another chest right here. The other thing that we could do is do away with this door, and then, you know, and that way we don't have to worry about having this area open so much. I don't know. Let, let, let's leave that door there for now. I want to make another chest then. So I don't know. where Did I make that in here, or did I make it somewhere else? We're not going to have room for all this furniture. We're going to have to make a bigger house. That's all there is to it. 
we probably made the chest in here, I'll bet you. Small storage chest, yeah. Okay, let's order one of those up. So I'll put the other chest in here. Um, I guess turning this way, so they're kind of like in an L shape. Unless, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's get another the other chest first, and then we'll see what we're working with here. Look at all of our new stuff, man. It's beautiful. Okay, so we could... Uh, we could put a chest here and then another one here, but then we can't really get into the room very well. Doesn't look like it gives me an option to stack. Oh, it does, but it needs clearance to open the lid, kind of like the like Minecraft does. So if we put three chests in here, I probably wouldn't be able to move through there. Here, I'm, this is how we can tell. Nope, see, we can't move through there. Okay. So I think what we're going to have to do is put the chest here, like so. Okay, so this will be like our little storage room. Maybe we could put um, something here, I don't know. Probably can't, we probably don't have room to do that. Okay, now, what I wanna do next is, let's grab, what do we got in here? We've got the Wainwright table. We've got a bench and a chair. Let's see where we could maybe put the bench. Oh, that's cute. That's pretty cute. Um, we'll put the bench there for now, but it kind of makes this a little janked out, but I'm just putting this stuff in here now, for now, just so we can get more XP. Here in here, I thought this was a, you know, a decently sized starter house, but man, there's just not room for all this stuff in here. All right, so we got that done. Let's take a look and see what we got else. We got this chair here. We've got a uh, a hewn table and a Wainwright table. Didn't we make a bed, too? Maybe he's still working on the bed. Is he working on the bed? What's he working on? Oh, he's working on the tailoring table. All right. Did we make a bed? I thought we made a bed. Well, we're not ready for the bed yet anyways, because that, that's got to go upstairs. Okay, so we have a chair. Um, we could put the chair right here. Right in front of the thing. Well, it doesn't quite center on it. All right, well, if that's the case, then let's just flip it this way. Can't place there blocked. We'll put it there. Can we actually sit in the chair? Examine. Placed on solid ground. Doesn't look like we're able to sit in the chair. Oh, man, I wanted to sit in my chair. Okay, let's go over here. Just going to grab the Wainwright table. Does the Wainwright table have to be placed indoors? That's cool looking. I don't know what the front, which one's the front, or what side's the front. Uh, I'm guessing we have to have access to the wheel. So it probably goes this way. Look at us and our bad Wainwright selves. Man, we are moving up in the world, guys. Moving up in the world. We're going to have to figure out some light solution in here, too. We do have the torch stand. But it kind of takes up a bunch of space, too. If we put the torch stand right in the middle here... Yeah, see, that's not the best place for it, is it? Because we need to put walls in here. So let's forget about the torch stand for right now. I want a bed. 
Let's make a bed. Crafting. Uh, so we made... Did we make a tailoring table? I thought we did, right? Yes. Let's grab that. Oh, look at this thing, man. That is so cool. Oh, man. We're not going to have room for it, though. Unless we... Hmm. Here, let's pick this back up for a second. We're going to have to put the tailoring table here. Uh, I think that's the right direction. Yeah, that's got to be the right direction. So, could we... Um, here, let's grab this again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we do that? I think we might be able to get away with doing this. If we just put this here... We can still walk through here and use both sides of the table. Okay. That that should work, right? I think. Well, here, one way to find out. Let's get some boards now. Uh, we want hardwood logs. Oh! This could... This could be the floor, right? No, it doesn't let me place them like that. Oh. Uh. I, I don't think that's going to be... No, that isn't going to work because it won't let me attach one to here. It thinks I'm trying to stack the wood. Ah, uh, Okay. Well, it was worth a try, right? It was worth a try. Besides, we we wouldn't want a big old, you know, lumpy log floor anyway. Let's keep working on our walls here. All right, so we want walls. So we can put a wall here. And we can put a wall here. And then we'll, we'll put a door going into that room like so. So we can still walk through here, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. We're going to have a problem with the masonry table, aren't we? What if we did this? That's ta That takes up two blocks worth of space. Yeah, we're not going to be able to... Oh, man. All right, here. I got an idea. This master tail has a plug-in modules that can't be picked up. What? No, it doesn't. All right, now if we rotate this and put it like so... There. Now we should be able to put a wall in here. And we're out of wood. Softwood, hardwood. All right, you know what? I'm going to change this like so. There we go. That'll work. And that's right in the center there, so we're good. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Pick that back up. We could also have a... A walkway here and then likewise walkway there this one however we 
can't really put a walkway here uh, because of the way this is facing. Can we flip that up and... Maybe. Let's look. <laughs> I mean, we can't get to our... Our wheel there, but that's okay. We don't actually need to get to it. We'll just pretend that we can get to it. Because things have to be symmetrical, you guys. That's important. They gotta be symmetrical. Okay, so we're gonna need I'm or I'm gonna need to cut some more hardwood to finish out our walls here. And then we're gonna put a floor in, and then the upstairs will be, you know, that's we're gonna put our bed down and uh, you know, we'll probably make some more chairs. We got a table that we'll set down up there and uh, go from there. But uh, I think we are out of time in this episode. This was fun. Uh, we are making progress, you guys. We're learning. We're making progress. I'm still a little concerned. What in the heck? What happened to my pumpkin? Is it... What happened? It, it Did, like, some disease get to it? We have 27 pumpkins in our inventory. Yeah, it went bad. Okay. I bet you I have to have some kind of irrigation out here, don't I? Because nothing's growing. Oh, man. Okay. So how do we do that? How do we do irrigation? Do we do it like Minecraft where we have to have a block dug out with water in the center kind of idea? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I need to know you guys. We can't lose our crops. Very important. But anyway, yeah, it was a good episode. We got some carpentry done. We started working on the rooms of our very cramped house. Uh, we we did some cooking. So yeah, we're moving up and uh, having lots of fun. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Watch out for wolves because you never know when they're going to bite you. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.